Hey guys, for today's video, I am going to be doing my own acrylic nails. So if you would like to see how I do my own acrylic nails, then be sure to keep on watching. So the first thing I'm going to do is I've already taken care of my cuticles and have completely uh, trimmed up most of my nails. I left these too long because I'm going to be keeping my natural nail underneath. Okay, so just for saving time, I have already pre-sized my tips. I am keeping this nail as well. That's about the length I'm going to make all the nails. So I want to keep it a very natural length. These I will obviously have to trim down. Alright, so the first step I'm going to do is I'm going to very lightly buff on the nail beds of my nails. Um, and this is just to add a little bit of surface area to the nails so that the acrylic and the glue will stick better. I'm using a very, very light, fine um, file. I don't want to remove a lot of the top layer of my nail and I don't want to cause a lot of damage to my nail. So I'm just trying to add a little bit more texture to it so that the acrylic has something to stick to. So. And the glue as well. So as you can see, that one has been buffed. And I've been doing acrylic nails for whew, a long time. I just haven't done them in a really, really long time. So I'll go ahead and do that to all 10 of my nails and I will come back to show you guys the next step. Okay, so next, now that my nails have been buffed, all 10 nails have been buffed, I am going to go ahead, I put this away, I didn't mean to open that. Now that all 10 of my nails have been buffed, I'm gonna go ahead and apply the tips to the fingernails that need tips. I'm gonna be using this BYB nail glue. I ordered all of my supplies from Amazon. Um, this bottle seems to be all janky and tipped. Hopefully I can get it open and fixed. So I'll be right back. I'm having technical difficulties. Okay, after multiple episodes of technical difficulties, now we're going to go ahead and apply the glue. Holy cow. First it didn't want to come out, now it comes out way too much. And I'm just going to tap the excess glue off. And I'm just going to apply this. And I like to hold it there for several seconds just to make sure it has a nice good bond. Alright, I did put it on slightly crooked, but that's usually the way it works. My nail beds are tipped in funny ways, so... Alright, let's go ahead and do the rest of the nails. And I will come back to you guys for the next step. Okay, so I have all the tips that I'm going to use on my nails right now. So the fun part now is cutting them. I have this thick nail tip cutter right here that also came in the package from Amazon. And I'm just going to slide it in. And I'm going to cut it slightly longer than I intend to keep them because I will be sanding some of it down. And I'm just going to cut it like that. So there is the length that I'm going to go, and then I will be sanding it down from that point on. So I'm going to go ahead and go like that. Those two are my nails. And this one, let's put it in there. And cut it off like that. So right now they are still very long, but like I said, that's not going to stick around very long. I'll be going shorter than that. Even this one I'm going to end up sanding down some because it is just too long and it's my natural nails so I'm gonna go ahead and finish cutting the rest of these nails and then we are going to start on the fun smelly part which is the acrylic um, before I do the acrylic I completely forgot I need to file this down some so I'm going to grab this file right here it's kind of tiny but it's just a little bit more aggressive than this one 
and, and that is just to kind of um, take down any sharp points and kind of blend the acrylic I mean the, the plastic tip to the natural fingernail I could use my electric file let's see if I use it very very slowly I might be able to do that and I'm just going to also put some surface texture on the plastic tip about as much as I want to take off. I'm just trying to blend the seam from the plastic tip to my natural nail bed. It feels pretty smooth. I don't feel any step or anything. Let's go ahead and do the other nails. I have a very mild sanding um, thing on the sander on this, so it's not a really aggressive sander, so it's not going to cause a ton of damage to a nail bed. I can't say it won't cause any because well, I'd be lying if I did. All right, that feels pretty smooth as well. You can see the difference between this one that has been sanded and this one that has not. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up the rest of my nails and I'll be right back. All right, guys, all the nails have been sanded. So now I'm going to open this compartment right here. This is primer and I'm just going to put some primer just on my nail beds. And this is just to make sure that the um, acrylic sticks removes any oil off of the nail bed so that the acrylic does a better job at staying longer, especially along the cuticle. And this is my whole nail, so I'm just going to prime the whole thing. Alright, after this we are going to move on to do the actual acrylics. Okay, so now we are going to be using a clear acrylic powder. And this is the smelly stuff. Did you see ants crawling? I live in Florida. Ants are always in my house. It's annoying. I apologize. Okay, so I'm going to grab another brush. And I love these brushes that I got. They're super trippy. Look, psychedelic brushes. But they have really nice bristles. So let's go ahead and dip into our acrylic liquid. I'm just trying to shape that right along my cuticle without actually touching my cuticle. There we go, that was a much better bead. That first one was a little rough. But I'll be able to work with it. And 
this nail is going to be a little rough, but it's my original, and it's my first nail in I don't know how many years of not doing acrylics, so I can work with it. And I'll just end up sanding a lot of this way. So, okay, guys. So right now my nails look absolutely horrendous. It has been way too long since I've dealt with acrylics. So basically, what this means is I have a lot of sanding ahead of me. So I am gonna go ahead and get started with that. Um, I am going to change my bit, my little drill bit here, to a, a rougher sander because I have a lot of thick acrylic to get through too. All right, so let's start with the pinky here. Whoa. Gotta be really careful not to get my critical on this because I feel so bizarre because it's my natural nail. Ooh, I got my critical again, okay. Okay guys, so I have done the first filing on my nails and they're looking a lot better than they were after I finished the acrylic. They still have a long way to go because I still have to um, clean up the edges and finish shaping the tips. But as you can see, that is a vast improvement on how the acrylic looked when I first applied it. So now I'm gonna take a softer file, probably something along this grit. This one's kind of small. Um, actually, I may take the one that they sent in the kit. This one, it is a rougher grit, but, and then this side is a little softer, but I'm gonna use it to really shape and clean up all the edges and everything, and um, just kind of go in and give it its final shape. So I'm just gonna do that by hand. This part I like to do by hand just because you can really pay attention to the details and um, really, see what you're doing so once I get all the nails shaped and filed then I will be buffing them with this guy but let's go ahead and just shape a couple of them I'll let you see what it looks like now and I will go ahead and get this one done I'm pretty happy with that so my next goal is to get them all looking like this and then I will be ready for buffing. So here is a before pretty much and an after. So that gives you an idea of the difference a little bit of filing can make right there. All right, we'll be back in just a few. Okay guys, so I have my nails completely sanded down and shaped and I'm pretty happy with the result. It did take a lot longer, obviously, to clean them up, and I busted up my cuticle pretty good on that one. But not bad for not having had done nails in years. I think they turned out pretty well. So I'm going to go ahead and buff the nail, and then I am going to shine it and do all that good stuff. And I will be back with you guys once that's done. Let me go ahead and show you one. Don't touch the cord, baby. So there is the before and the after. You can see it's got a nice shine now. So 
I will do that to the rest of my nails and I will be back for the final step. Okay guys, here are the finished nails. Not my best, but they do look pretty good and they are functional. Hopefully they last a while and I will be able to paint them different colors and enjoy them. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on this One Step Gel, Wonder Gel from Wet n Wild. And it is a gel-like polish without any light needed, even though I do have a light. Um, and I'm just, this is in the shade Power Outage. Ironically enough, it is storming out and we might lose power. So um, I thought this was fitting. It is just a beautiful black polish. So let's go ahead and paint our nails and see how they turned out. It's not terrible. It's definitely going to need two coats. It's the first time I use it. I have another color in this brand and it also requires two coats. So overall not bad. I'm looking at the surface of the nails and they look pretty decent. I mean guys it literally has been like four years since I've done acrylic nails. So not too shabby. Definitely wearable and presentable and they don't look horrible so I'm pretty happy with it all right guys I'll see you in my next video don't forget to subscribe bye